Judith Hutton. Good. How are you? Good. Good. Seven fifty then. Seven fifty. It's funny money here. Okay. Well, we'll just do seven then. Excellent. Have a good one. You too. My name is Megan Hall, and we are at the Hardwick Farmers Market. We've been a part of the market uh, in various capacities since the beginning, probably maybe 30, 25, 30 years ago. The farmer's market has been um, uh, here for quite a few years. Um, I come on Fridays as a, as a state representative to uh, engage in the public and see what's on people's minds. Markets are so important because they bring our community together and they allow for our community to not only find local agricultural products, but they also allow for our neighbors and friends and community to meet each other and spend time with each other and celebrate our, our Vermont agriculture. So many people in Vermont have roots in agriculture, but for a lot of reasons, um, you know, their family might have moved away from agriculture. And the market is just a great way to really keep that community uh, in tune with like what's going on with farm and food producers. I, uh... I'm a small scale farmer myself and uh, having a, a venue like a regular market, um, not just a farmer's market, but some way to move that product means that you get some financial stability out of it. Having vibrant markets like this where regular customers, you know, community members come and participate every week as well as it being a space for folks who are visiting Vermont to come and see, it makes a huge difference in terms of the viability of these businesses. This year I have seen more vendors than I have in the last probably four or five years. Of course, the weather has been great for the last uh, three weeks here since we opened, so that makes a big difference. I mean, there are new vendors all over here, the, um, the St. John's Brewery Distillery and the House on the Hill. And when you see meat it's for sale, it's locally raised right here in Hardwick. And when you see maple syrup for sale, it's produced in Walden. When you see Riverside Farm here selling vegetables and plants, it's produced in Hardwick. So what you get and what pe really attracts people from this area is that these are local people selling local products and we're seeing uh, support of local community and, and producers here and it's just a really wonderful thing. What's really cool about the Hardwick Farmers Market is that we're able to accept all sorts of various funded money. The Hardwick Farmers Market and a lot of other markets around the state participate in a NOFA Vermont program, which um, is called Crop Cash and Crop Cash Plus. Folks that have EBT benefits and choose to spend them at a farmer's market will get a double incentive, meaning that a $20 EBT purchase would actually result in $60 in market currency. So it triples the amount of money in your food budget for any given week, and you can participate in that um, every week, basically. People can actually come and meet the people who are producing the food in their communities. There's a nice benefit to that because, yes, we can sell at the co-op and we can sell in all the local stores, but to actually be able to come face to face with the people buying your produce and for them to be able to ask us questions direct about what our practices are or how to grow things in their own gardens or that kind of thing, it's, it's really nice to have that, um, that relationship with the community. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good, thanks. It's a place for everybody to come. It happens you know, here on Friday night, so at the end of the week, come down here, meet your friends, meet your family, relax, grab a bite to eat, take something home with you. It just offers something for everybody, and it keeps that connectedness to community and agriculture together.